I'm very happy to say that the first season of Rome is officially going to happen. I just signed my agreement with my company and they are graciously allowing me to take a three month vacation to do this series. If you're unfamiliar with what Rome is, it is an adventurous bicycling series where I ride my bike from one city to another and do many food challenges along the way. If you want to see the pilot episode, the pilot episode was kind of long, but you can see that by clicking here and then this mini series that I did back in late December called Rome, California. You can see by clicking here. The adventure will start on Sunday, April 23rd. Rome is going to be pretty much a much more intense version of Rome, California. At night, I'm going to be sleeping in this bivy in different state parks, and then by day, I'm going to be doing food challenges. And if you can see on the map here, this is the basic route I'm going to follow during this three-month trip. First, I'm going to ride from Columbus, Ohio to New York City, and that should take about a week. So I'll be getting to New York at the end of April, and then I'm going to spend a week riding around New York, Long Island, and Connecticut, and doing food challenges around that area. And then I'll be riding south until I reach Miami, Florida. And I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to ride from uh, New York to Miami, but I'm going to get into plenty of good adventures along the way. And I plan on getting to Miami around June 13th. And at that point, I'll be flying out of Miami to Las Vegas for a bachelor party, getting to Las Vegas around the 15th of June. And then after a few days there, I'm going to be riding my bike to Bend, Oregon for a family reunion. And I'll hopefully get there by July 8th. And I'm going to spend a week around Oregon. And then it'll be time for me to fly home and get back to work. You might notice that I'm leaving the scheduling kind of vague on this, and that's intentional. I've found that many times when I do these trips and I make the schedule overly structured, it doesn't leave a lot of room for spontaneous adventures in the schedule. So that's what I'm really going for with this trip. And I'm planning to do a restaurant food challenge at least once every two days. So I might get to at least 30 or 40 throughout the course of the trip. And at this point, the most notable ones I have on my schedule are the Kitchen Sink Ice Cream Sunday Challenge at Krish's on Long Island, the Whole Enchiladas Six Pound Ex-Wife Burrito Challenge in Miami, the Sears Tower Sandwich Challenge at Windy City Beef and Dogs in Las Vegas, and the Seven Pound Chicken Challenge at Lucky's Kitchen in Oregon, which is a challenge that has a nice, nice progressive jackpot. So um, obviously these are not the only food challenges I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing many more than just these four. And a lot of those will be figured out kind of on the fly. So the way I'll be posting these videos, I'm pretty much going to upload them as soon as I have them ready. And I'll find whatever opportunities I can to step into, say, a Starbucks or a McDonald's to work on the videos and upload them to YouTube. And I would expect that the first one will probably get uploaded around May 1st, uh, so roughly a week into the journey. So the videos are not going to be completely up to date. There's going to be a bit of a delay because I'll only have so much time to work on them while I'm on the road. So if you want to stay right up to the date with the developments of the trip, just follow me on my Twitter account, which is at Mantis Eats. I'll be posting pretty much every day. I'll try to post something every day, usually about what city I'm in and what food challenge I'm doing next, and maybe some local scenery, some, some local touristy stuff as well. So this chart shows how I'm going to be structuring each of these Rome videos. Each episode is going to feature one restaurant food challenge, and there might be two days of bike riding, but it will always be one food challenge per video. And how I'm going to break down the time is like this. Each video will be about six to 10 minutes long. I'll spend 60% of the video on the food challenge. 30% of the video will be biking stuff. And then 10% will be other stuff like local travel landmarks and touristy stuff like that. Right now I'm experimenting with different GoPro angles on my bike because I know that I've been doing the chest mount so far and I know that gets kind of shaky. So I'm trying out what I can and seeing what works better and what doesn't work. So. You'll see more of that during the Rome series. And that brings me to the last point I want to make. If you know that I'm headed to your city and you want to hang out, please don't hesitate to contact me either through my Twitter page or through YouTube. Uh, if you want to do a food challenge with me or if you just want to get a beer or something, that'll be great. I'll be riding my bike 100 miles a day and it's not the most mentally stimulating thing. So it'll be great just to hang out with some 
good people. So um, I know it's not completely clear. I know it's not completely clear from the schedule where I'll be and when. But if you follow my Twitter page, you'll get the up-to-the-date stats on that. So that'll be great. So that's it for this announcement video. Please check out Rome once the videos start rolling in. And tell your friends if you think they'll be interested. This will definitely be the biggest and best adventure I've ever been on. So I'm very excited about it. In about a week, I'm going to upload one more eating cereal video where I'm going to attempt to eat 200 Oreos. And then the day before I leave, April 22nd, I'm going to record one more sort of preseason video. I'll call it Episode Zero. It'll be sort of a, a pump-up video to get you stoked about the, the Rome series. And then on the 23rd, that's when I'll be leaving. And then about a week after that, the videos will start rolling in. So let's have some fun. <laughs>